Welcome back for day 7 of my 31 days of Halloween series. Originally, I just wanted to do Audrey 2, but I figured, why not mix Poison Ivy in there as well? And thus, Poison Audrey was born. Product details and all that fun stuff will be in the video description below. Let's begin. Hello, hello. To start the beauty portion off, I'm using a face primer. Before taking my two foundations and creating a custom mix, and I'm applying that all over my face, including my neck area. Oh, and by the way, if you see my um, right armpit being a little bit on the red side, don't worry, I don't have a skin condition. I was just stained from filming the Frankenstein look, actually. I'm then brightening the eyes and hiding any blemishes I have with my favorite concealer before running a spoolie through my brows and starting on the color. I decided I wanted a green ombre for them, so I'm taking a light forest green on the inner portion of my eyebrow, a darker forest green on the middle and the tail, and then lastly adding a little bit of black on the outer tail. These are all just eyeshadows by the way. You just want to work away at them and create that really nice gradient. For the eyeshadow, I first went in with a taupey brown color for the crease. And then for the rest of the eyeshadow, I actually used the same colors as I used in the brows. Took that lighter green, created a halo eye, so I added shadow on the outer corners. And blended that out really well. I also added a tiny bit in the crease. You can also do the same exact eyeshadow pattern on the bottom lid as well. Then you're going to want to take that darker green that's a little bit more on the cool side and also add that even farther out on your lids. Then I decided to use a yellow shimmery eyeshadow on my center of my lid on both the upper and lower. And at the end, I blended it all together with a big fluffy brush. Please excuse my really chapped lips. But I'm going to take that green and yellow eyeshadow and apply it to any contours that are around my lips. And then I'm going to take that same shimmery yellow and apply that as a highlight on my cupid's bow and also a highlight on the inner corners of my eyes. Then with a contour brush, I'm taking all of the greens and buffing that out as contour slash blush. You can also add some green to your temples and forehead. Apparently this makeup wasn't crazy enough for me, so I used the same yellow as a highlight. Next step is to define your collarbones with the same green colors that we've been using. Then I decided I wanted to extend the eye a little bit further, so I took some dark green and a little bit of black eyeshadow and created a very soft wing. And these are the corner lashes I decided to go with, so I just quickly applied those. They're super simple to apply. If you're a beginner with eyelashes, these are the ones you probably want to start with. Then for a little extra something, I decided to take some green liquid eyeliner and make little tiny dots just in the center of my lid. And then I took some white body paint, but of course you can use some white eyeliner, and created some more dots over that to create more dimension. For the lips, I decided to use an olive green body paint. And then I took a darker, more emerald green, but only painted the outer corners, creating that ombre effect that we kind of created with our eyebrows as well. And then lastly for the lips, I created a white highlight just to give a little oomph. I should warn you, even though it's kind of common sense, don't lick your lips when you have water activated paint on them, cause you'll regret it. Time for Audrey 2. So you're gonna wanna grab a white eyeliner and start mapping out a general design. If you don't like it, swipe it away. The first paint I would recommend using is a yellow one, and you're just going to map out generally where you see yellow on the reference image, including Audrey's head and leaves. Then 
Then you can take the next lighter color, which is a bright green, and fill in the body, making sure you blend the two paints together. A trick for blending is to actually dry brush, which means you have little to no water on your brush while you blend. This is going to help you a ton with creating that gradient of color. And then the next paint you're going to use is the dark emerald green, and you're keeping that to the outer side. Then you can take an olive green and create little markings on Audrey's body. For the rest of the limbs and torso, you're going to take a darker green and apply that to the outer sides, and take the lighter greens and yellow and apply that to the middle. You can vary this color up because Audrey is quite patchy in color, but that's pretty much the method. For added dimension, you can also take a little bit of black, be very sparing with this, and you can apply that to anywhere where you want a really deep shadow. So right under the head, in the mouth, wherever you need to. For the rest of Audrey, you really just want to play around with the use of color. You can use all the different greens. You can even use the eyeshadows we used in the makeup, although I didn't do that for this. I only used water activated body paints. But you can really just play around with the highlights and contours, add a little bit of lime green, a little bit of olive green, it's up to you really. The truly great thing about this character is that its design, no pun intended, is very organic. So you can kind of just add splotches of color here and there and it's still going to look great. The next step is the mouth, so you're going to take some very red body paint. And what I like to do is kind of map out the general features, so I started simple with the lips. And then once I had the lips done, I decided to paint in the teeth so I wouldn't lose those as well. And then I went ahead and filled in the rest of the features, making sure to shade as I go and create highlights as I go as well. Audrey also has these really disgusting spots on its tongues. Don't forget those. Also, don't forget to paint the pot brown, shade it, and create little cracks in it as well. And the last step, which took forever, is to create all the leaves. So I did the ones in Audrey 2 first, shaded them, and then moved on to the ones that would frame Audrey and my shoulders. And there you have it. You've become Poison Audrey. See you guys tomorrow.